moving has taken place. You see, not too long ago, a mysterious creature with pointy ears appeared before me. And before I could say anything, it started to speak. It said, The greatest love that you can ever have is the love that you can never have. The greatest love that you can ever have is the love that you can never have. The greatest love that you can ever have is the love that you can never have. This is what it said to me three times. How did this creature come across this piece of information? And why is it choosing to tell me this? Again it chanted, The greatest love that you can ever have is the love that you can never have. Who gives this creature the right to speak? Not I. Shut up, you ugly beast. Go away. The creature refused to obey me, and its chants only got louder and louder. It kept chanting. The greatest love that you can never have is the love that you can never have. The greatest love that you can ever have is the love that you can never have. to make my head pump. My head was this creature's new drum, and it has obtained great pleasure on drumming on my head. Again it screamed in a mocking tone. The greatest love that you can ever have is the love that you can never have. <coughs> Oh, dear diary, I know you feel great pity upon me. Even I felt sorry for myself. How could this creature be so cruel to someone as innocent as I? I realized that perhaps this creature wasn't pure evil. It was its tongue that was the true criminal. Again, this evil tongue squealed. The greatest love that you can ever have is the love that you can never have. But this time I was ready. I grabbed one of the burning candles near my nightstand and shoved it into its mouth. The creature was dumbfounded and shocked. It tried to scream again. The greatest love that you will ever have is the love that you can never have. However, its mouth was on fire, and its evil tongue turned into black ashes. <laughs> Do you think you can torment I, Anastasia, and continue to exist in harmony? <laughs> mm. The creature slowly blinked at me. It must have been in pain. After all, getting one's tongue burnt off is not a very pleasurable experience. Now that the creature no longer has an evil tongue, well actually, it has no tongue at all. Anyway, <laughs> I have decided to keep this creature as my pet. Its rough green scales is something that has sparked my interest. For now, this creature lives in my closet. 
Though I plan to buy a steel cage for it to dwell in later. I know what you are thinking, dear diary. Why did this creature choose to say those evil words to me? The greatest love that you can ever have is the love that you can never have. I suppose that is something that I will never know, for this creature can no longer speak to me. But whatever it is, I have at least one again, for now I have a very interesting pet that belongs to me. <laughs> Manche Schöne macht wohl auf.